Well, hi, I'm Jeff Strong. I'm creator of Rhythmic and Trainment Intervention and co-founder and creative director of BrainShiftRadio.com. In this video, I want to talk about meditation, mindful meditation, the idea of slowing our brains down, clearing our minds, just breathing and being present. Um, it's a great technique. Uh, a lot of people are, are kind of exploring this uh, to, to, to create a sense of calm in their own lives. And um, it's fairly easy for a lot of people. Just sit, breathe, just experience, let the images flow from your mind and, and just allow yourself to become mindful of what you're doing, be, be present in the moment. And it's a great technique uh, for a lot of people, but for somebody like me who has ADD, it's really hard. Um, so I came up with some other strategies that I've used over the last 30 years to help me focus um, and clearing my mind. And really it is about focusing, clearing my mind. It, it, it takes some effort for me to, to do mindfulness and to be in that quiet place. So, um, <clears throat> and the way I do it is I, I facilitate it with the drum. Uh, in previous videos, I talked about the shamanic technique of using a uh, four beat per second pulse to drive the brain into the lowest end of the theta state of consciousness. And um, it's a very repetitive pulse. I talk about how at the low end of, of theta that you can use this repetitive pulse and the brain will become entrained to it and connect with it. And this is true for most people. And it's especially true for doing a shamanic type technique because the shamanic technique is a journey generally. There's a specific visualization that you go through each time you do one of these journeys. So the drum is the means to get your brain into this, this low end of theta, but what you're doing is you're going through a very specific series of exercises in your mind. You may be going to the lower world to find a power animal or a spirit helper. Uh, you may be going to the upper world to retrieve energy or, or do a soul retrieval of some sort. These are very specific processes you go through that you learn if you're studying traditional shamanism or even core shamanism as it's taught today. Uh, the drum becomes the means to get you into that state. So the repetitive uh, nature of the rhythm is okay because your, your conscious mind is really focused on these, uh, these journeys, uh, this process of, of following a path. And so you have something conscious you can hold on to. And so for somebody with a, a really active mind, a type A personality or a person with ADD like me, um, that can work. I can do a shamanic journey just fine as long as I find the imagery, uh, something that works for me. And I talk about my book, Different Drummer, that it took me a while to kind of figure that out. But the, the entrainment process works just fine at, the, at that instance. But if I'm doing mindfulness meditation, where I just want to breathe and be present and clear my mind, that repetitive uh, rhythm doesn't really work. So, um, and as a matter of fact, in this video, I'd like to do an experiment. Uh, whether you have an overactive mind or ADD, or you're just um, interested in how the drum kind of plays into all this, let's do this, uh, this experiment together. First, um, let's just try to do a mindful kind of breathing meditation here for just a minute without any aid from the drum at all and just uh, see see where that leads us some of you will have a great time you'll get into this really calm open expansive space and and, and feel really really present and, and um, that's great and there's going to be a lot of you that are going to really struggle so let's spend a couple minutes here and just breathe um, easiest thing to do is put your feet flat on the floor and just kind of settle into your chair um, close your eyes and focus on your breath. Um, just breathe in, full deep breath through your nose and breathe out through your nose. And just breathe for a few minutes. Uh, we're just going to breathe. And as, as you breathe slow, deep breaths, allow your, your mind to just empty. See the thoughts that you have just drift away and um, allow yourself to just be present. Allow your thoughts to just flow past you. Some people see it as a, as a leaf going down a river, just letting it flow past you. You don't really pay much attention to it. It's just there and gone. The next thought comes by and you just notice it and let it go. Other people see it being a train going by. However you visualize it, just allow yourself to let go of the thoughts as you breathe. And we'll just breathe for a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds or so, and just settle in and allow yourself to experience the openness of just allowing your breath to go in and out slowly and smoothly.
Okay, so um, that's what it means to do a mindful meditation, to just be present, to focus on your breath, let your, let your um, imagery, emotions, thoughts, just kind of just flow by. Don't hold on to them. So that works for a lot of people. Spend a few minutes every day just allowing yourself to focus on your breath and relax. It can really do a lot for you as far as reducing your stress and, um, and just creating a nice sense of inner calm. But um, like I said, for people who have really super active brains, uh, that can be great for 30 seconds or a minute, but it doesn't really work so well for uh, a five or a 10 minute meditation. It's just really uncomfortable. Um, I personally fidget. I can't stop moving. And of course, eventually I end up tapping because that's what I do. Um, and so for me, I get to, to say that I'm just practicing or whatever, but that's my way of fidgeting, and it always has been. And so for me to be able to channel it into drumming is a really natural thing. And then it's just a matter for me of, of kind of deciphering what it is I'm doing, what works and what doesn't work, and then experimenting uh, by letting other people try it. So this time we're going to try the same kind of idea, but I'm going to play a traditional steady shamanic pulse. Four beats per second, no variation in the rhythm, just really a steady pulse. So as I play, just allow yourself to focus on your breath and allow any thoughts that come up or images that come up or emotions that come up just to flow through you. Don't hold on to them, just let them go. Uh, some people will find themselves focusing on the drumming for a minute. That's totally fine. Um, allow yourself to do that if that's what it takes. If you can put your uh, attention on your breath, that's fine too. But just see how this feels after a couple minutes and then um, compare that then to what it was like to just breathe. So I'm gonna play for a minute or so, allow yourself to just settle in and see how this feels. So I'm sure that felt a little different to you. Um, hopefully you felt yourself settle really deeply into kind of this, this open space. Um, this can work great for a lot of people. Now, if you're like me, this gets old after a couple minutes. Um, it feels really good compared to just using um, silence. Uh, having the drum there is, is a really helpful uh, piece for me anyway of kind of shifting into that altered state, that, that meditative state, especially the deep end of theta like this. But one thing I found that um, works for me especially so, and, and for a lot of other people I've taught over the years, uh, especially like I said, people with ADHD, um, is to vary the rhythm a little bit. So I've got this pulse of four beats per second that we can entrain to. And entrainment, like I've described before, is the synchronization of our brainwave patterns to the pulse of the drum, the tempo of the drum. Mm -hmm. 
And so um, we're going to we're going to shift into this um, fairly quickly, depending on how often we've experienced this. The first time, it'll it'll take a while. Uh, research shows that it's anywhere from 12 to 17 minutes for entrainment to happen with an auditory stimulus the first time. It progressively is quicker each time you listen. So if you didn't feel much this first time, this is the first time you've ever listened to one of my recordings or maybe um, one of the first few times, your brain may not have learned how to shift yet. So maybe you repeat that section or um, download one of my recordings, kind of get used to this idea of entrainment. Uh, I have a lot of free demos that you can try. Um, go to jeffstrong.com and uh, you'll, find, you'll find some options there. Um, but um, basically, the more you do it, the better your brain gets at it. So if you've, you've had a chance to experience brainwave entrainment or auditory driving or drumming, um, in the past, your brain will shift quicker. So hopefully you'll be able to, to make a quicker shift. Um, so what I'm going to do this time is we're going to take this idea, um, but we're going to change the rhythm. I'm going to use a really simple pattern. I'm going to do a 3-2 rhythm. Um, it's a five-beat rhythm. I choose a five-beat rhythm because it's not um, even. You know, I could do, I could do a 2-2 two -two rhythm. It would just would be like this. But you become, it becomes so familiar so quickly. That, that it really doesn't do much any uh, much more than a steady pulse. Uh, a, f a five rhythm, a three two rhythm is variable enough that it's unusual. Uh, we don't think in terms of threes and twos when we think musically. Uh, three two sounds like this, as a matter of fact. A one two three one two 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 one two three. And what I'll do is I'll vary a little bit, and I'll do a pickup beat into the to the into the grouping of two. So it'll, uh, the, th the grouping of three will actually be it'll be, be a two, and then uh, two louds and quiet, and it'll sound like this. And I'll just vary between those two concepts, but it's basically a three beat and a two beat. And um, I'll play this at the same tempo that I play the shamanic beat at. And we'll just see how this feels different than, um, than the shamanic beat and then silence. So again, sit and breathe. I'm going to play for a minute or two and um, just see how this feels.
So I would imagine that felt a little bit different. Um, hopefully for those of you with super active minds, it was a little bit more engaging. You were able to settle in and be a little bit um, more relaxed, more calm, more in the zone, in, in that place of presence that mindful meditation is all about. So um, that's the idea with drumming, to, to create mindful meditation for people with overactive minds, especially those with ADHD. Um, you don't need a drum to do this. Um, <clears throat> you can always use a hardcover book. Um, very simple. And you can play for yourself. If, um, and it's really very easy. Uh, hold the book. Uh, play with, in this case, play with your middle fingers, kind of towards the center of the drum. And if you're playing the shamanic beat, it's as simple as four beats every second. So it should be right around here. It doesn't have to be super even. It doesn't have to have every note sound exactly the same. As a matter of fact, a little variability is a good thing. If you're wanting to do the, the three two rhythm, it's really as simple as one, two, three, one, two, 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 three, one, two, one, two, three. And it's okay if it changes, if you make a mistake, if you do an extra set of two or an extra set of three, um, or you trip up once in a while, totally fine. What your brain does is it fills in all the notes. So it, it actually entrains to the underlying pulse of the rhythm and not so much the accent of the rhythm. So um, if you're wanting to do this, I'd say spend a couple minutes every day. Um, pick up your hardcover book. A soft cover will work too, just fine. Um, and, and just sit and breathe and play either a steady pulse or a three, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then just breathe and allow yourself to, to clear your mind. It's a great technique to use. Um, and I'm just going to play a regular uh, REI type rhythms, you know, eight beats per second here. Um, so you can get a sense of what a faster calm is going to feel like. So uh, I will see you in the next video.